Are you struggling with Fortnite stuttering, lag, and low FPS? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to enable potato graphics settings in Fortnite for any PC or GPU. These powerful tweaks will boost your FPS, remove input delay, and make the game run much smoother. So, if you want faster gameplay and stable performance, stick around. Let's get started right now. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The first thing we will do is clean all the temporary files on your computer. These files are useless, not needed anymore, and just sit there taking up storage space. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard. A small window called Run will pop up. In the box, type temp and press Enter. A folder will open with lots of files inside. These are all temporary files. Select all of them and press Delete on your keyboard. Some files will not delete because your system is using them. That's normal, so just skip those. Now do the same thing again. Press Windows plus R, but this time, type percent, temp percent, and press Enter. Another folder will open with even more temporary files. Again, select all the files inside and delete them. If some files don't delete, it's fine. Leave them. By doing this, you are removing junk data and freeing up space. This makes your PC less cluttered and allows Fortnite to run better. With less junk slowing things down, you may get a small FPS boost and fewer slowdowns while playing. Step 2. Make Windows run faster. For Fortnite, Windows has many effects like shadows and animations that make things look nice, but they use up CPU and RAM. Click on the Windows search bar and type Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Open it, and a window called Performance Options will appear. Inside, select Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off all the animations and effects that use up resources. If you want, you can turn two settings back on so things don't look too plain. Smooth edges of screen fonts makes text look better. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Shows picture previews instead of just icons. Now click the Advanced tab. Under Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This tells Windows to give more CPU power to Fortnite instead of background apps. Click Apply and then OK to save. Doing this makes Windows lighter and faster. It removes useless effects, gives more power to Fortnite, and reduces lag and stutter. Step 3. Make Fortnite a priority so it runs smoother normally. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Windows gives resources to many apps at the same time, but here we will tell Windows to focus more on Fortnite so the game runs smoother. Open the folder called Fortnite Priority Manager. Inside, you will see three files. Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, and Fortnite High Priority. These are for different types of PCS. If your computer is weak or very low-end, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. If your PC is average or mid-range, double-click Fortnite Medium Priority. If you have a strong gaming PC, double-click Fortnite High Priority. When you double-click, a pop-up will ask if you want to allow changes. Click Yes. This will change the Windows registry so Fortnite always runs at that priority whenever you open it. You only need to do this once. By making Fortnite a priority, Windows will give it more CPU time and less to other apps. This helps reduce lag, gives smoother FPS, and makes fights in Fortnite feel more stable. Step 4. Make sure Fortnite uses all your CPU cores. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, which are like small workers inside your processor. But sometimes Windows turns some of them off, this is called parking, to save power. That makes games slower. We will fix this by making sure all CPU cores are used. Download and install a program called Park Control. Open it and choose the plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan is made for full gaming performance. Now change the settings like this. Parking AC equals disabled. Parking DC equals disabled frequency. Scaling AC equals 100% frequency. Scaling DC equals 100%. These settings make sure no CPU cores are turned off and all of them run at full speed. Now turn on Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This will let your CPU save energy when idle. But as soon as you open Fortnite, it will use maximum power right away. Finally, go to Windows Power Options and set Bitsum Highest Performance as the active plan. Click Make Active, then Apply. Now Fortnite will always use all CPU cores for maximum performance. Step 5. Change graphics settings for better Fortnite performance. 
You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. NVIDIA or AMD. Now we will change Fortnite graphics settings so the game runs faster and smoother. The steps are different for NVIDIA and AMD slash Intel users. For NVIDIA users, go to the folder called NVIDIA Potato Graphics. Inside, there are two files, Fortnite Optimized Settings and NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Double-click NVIDIA Profile Inspector and click Yes. In the search bar at the top, type Fortnite and choose it. Then, click Import. Open the Fortnite Optimized Settings file, click Open, and then click Apply Changes. If you want to go back to default later, click Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default. For AMD slash Intel users, go to the folder called AMD Potato Graphics. Right-click the file named GameUserSettings.ini and click Copy. Then press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent, and press Enter. Go to Fortnite game greater than saved, greater than config, greater than Windows client and paste the copied file there. Click yes to replace it. These settings turn off heavy graphics like shadows, grass, and effects. This makes Fortnite much faster, gives higher FPS, and reduces input delay. Step six, use MSI utility to reduce lag in Fortnite. Step six, use MSI utility to reduce lag in Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Next, we will make your graphics card respond faster with a tool called MSI Utility V3. This lowers input delay and makes Fortnite smoother. You will see a list of all the devices on your PC. Find your graphics card, NVIDIA or AMD. Check the box under MSI and change Interrupt Priority to High. If you have an integrated GPU like Intel UHD, do the same for it. Click Apply and then close the program. This makes your graphics card work faster with Fortnite, reducing the time between pressing keys or moving the mouse and seeing the action happen. Step 7. Increase GPU performance with MSI Afterburner. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Your graphics card is the most important part for smooth FPS. We can boost it safely using a tool called MSI Afterburner. Download and install MSI Afterburner, then open it. Move the power limit and temperature limit sliders all the way to the right. Do not touch the core voltage slider. Now slowly increase your memory clock by plus 20 each time, 0 to 20 to 40 to 60, and so on. After each change, test Fortnite. If it runs fine, increase it again. If Fortnite crashes or shows glitches, lower it back to the last stable number. When you find the best stable setting, click Apply. This safe overclock gives your GPU extra performance, which means higher FPS and smoother gameplay in Fortnite. Step 8. Reduce keyboard input lag. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Better Fortnite needs fast reactions, especially for building. We will make your keyboard respond quicker using Filter Keys Setter. Open the program and change the settings to Ignore under equals 0 milliseconds. Repeat delay equals 130 milliseconds. Repeat. Rate equals 10 milliseconds. Check the box on the right to activate them and then click OK. Now your keyboard will react instantly when you press a key. This gives faster building and quicker reactions in fights. Step 9. Use Game Mode and High Performance Graphics Settings. Finally, we will tell Windows to always give Fortnite full power. Open Windows Settings and search for Game Mode. Turn it on. Then search for Graphics Settings. Click Browse, go to your Fortnite folder, and find Fortnite Client Win 64 shippingexe Add it to the list. Click on it, choose Options, then select High Performance and click Save. This makes sure Fortnite always uses your main GPU and not a weaker one. It gives more FPS, less lag, and smoother gameplay. You're done. If you follow all these steps carefully, Fortnite will run a lot better, even on weak or old PCs. You will get higher FPS, smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and faster response time. Don't forget to restart your PC after finishing all steps so that every change works properly.